<laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I did not think to make that. Just give us your best quote or something. Just for video. I'm Bilal and I'm gay. What the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We're back again with another podcast today. Today we're going to be carrying on with the last top two topics from the last podcast that we didn't get to finish. And we're going to be reacting to some confessions. The topics are all the shit we did in school, lessons we learned from our exes, and then we're going to do our confessions. Uh, we here today with Yahya and Arif. They joined us last time for our last podcast also. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So the first topic we're starting off with uh, is all the shit we did in school. You'll go first. Was I go first? You, have you, uh, you I, have, I have a lot. You can vibe first. Yeah, you go first. The thing is, yo, which one do I say, man? Because I think like in every year I had a, like a story, bro. <laughs> Which one stood out to you the most? Like, which one was like either the funniest or you remember the most? I think my final year with Rick excursion. <laughs> <laughs> but like, even in grade eight when I got suspended, the same time as he was suspended. Why? What happened? Yeah, that's so so, bringing it. I wasn't even gonna say any of it. I thought okay, why did though. you get suspended? So we had English class, right? Yeah. Well, I was a naughty, I was like a naughty yo in school, you know, and I got kicked out of class, right? I was only one outside the class for like half the period. Mm. And then two months later, three of my other bras got kicked out, like all at the same time. And we were sitting there and we were just blooming. And then we seen a ball was on top of the cupboard, because like every class outside here is a cupboard, yeah? yeah? So we saw a ball, so we were like, you know what, let's pass around, let's play. So it started off like we were playing with a ball. So our class was like just when you enter into the wall. Yeah. So like we were a bit far from like the office and stuff. So we started playing soccer in, in the hallway, right? And then our own started taking it a bit serious. And we made parlors like down the hallway. So we were running past yeah. the classes with the ball and shit. And then uh, our teacher that kicked us out heard that we were playing like soccer and stuff. So she came out, she was shouting at us, she smacked me, she smacked my bra, <laughs> she smacked all her bras, and then she said, you know what, come, we're going to the office. So I was like, shit, you know, it's like my first year, first term, you know, I'm going to the office already. What? Anyways, wait. Hey, it was your first year. Yeah, grade, I was in grade 8, you were in grade 10. Wait, so where did you go primary school? Alexa also. What did you mean was your first year? It's nah, like high school. school. Oh, high school, yeah, because yeah. it's separate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, she came out, she told us, you know what, come, we're going office. So I'm like, shit, already, like, so fast I'm going to the office, you know? Anyways, we walk into the office, I see him in all his bras. Now, I thought maybe they just did to, like, get stuff done or something, right? <laughs> now we are, like, we are like a big crew, all his own, like, all my own standing outside the office, near. Yeah? So the principal, he calls us in. He says, what are you here for? So then my teacher said, now nah, we are like playing soccer in the hallway and disturbing the classes and stuff. Yeah. So uh, this bra, the principal, because he sees so many of us in office, he says, you know what? Suspend him all, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking, hey, this bra is still in the he got suspended. I don't know what he got suspended for, man. Anyways, they were writing like on a, a note to say like why we suspended. Yeah. And our name and surname there. So that's bra, so they wrote first the surname and then they came to the name. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Urzuk, obviously. Yeah. They wrote, I think, his note first, like Urzuk, Ari. Yeah. Name? It was yours. Oh, it was mine. They made two copies. They made the <laughs> <laughs> So they asked him what his, like, his name is. You said Urzuk, Ari. Yeah? So they wrote Urzuk. They said, hey, you gave me the song already. <laughs> so they wrote it before me. <laughs> Just teach your mind saying, no, they failed it. Go to the front of it. Plus, it was so funny, man. Yeah? They cheered me, they gave him his one, they gave me my one, yeah? Yeah. I check on mine, it's St. Bilal, yeah? I'm thinking to myself, I'll wait, tomorrow I'm coming back to school, <laughs> yeah? Then it does always, yeah, it's duplicates, then I said, hey, shit. Then he copied my one out. Then yeah, he got suspended. Yeah, then, home time comes. Yeah. So, um, we used to buy a home together, yeah? So my grandfather, one of them told him, hey, 
Jo, Cadencia lød mig så spændt. Så I siger, ja, I know, I know, I'm so spændt. I siger, nej, Bogdok, det var så spændt. I siger, hey, bro, you are shocked to see that I got so spændt, like so fast or something. Yeah. I think, was, I think it was angry I got suspended. Why? Because I used to get suspended again the year before that. Or oh, now this year again you started getting <laughs> suspended. And then I come to school and I get suspended also. Wait, so you got suspended just because you were in the in the office? Or is there a story? Yeah, there's a story where I got suspended. But I know till today I told you once got suspended because you never do your homework or something. Ne, bro, that is... You know how I used to get away with it. When a teacher walks one side, we used to run, catch a book, call our cover with our cover page saying our name. We show them someone else's book. When they turn around, we take out our cover page, give the original book back. Bro, that, bro, that's all new stuff, man. So you got suspended for playing ball? Yeah, in the hallway. That's so dumb, man, to suspend I mean, you for hey, playing ball. But even once, then we, I can't remember which period we had. So uh, me and my bras, So we used to eat gang chap, isn't it? And my bras, what they started doing is they used to, they used to like bite a small piece of the chip and spit it like, you know? <laughs> and like people in the class. Yeah, right? people in the class. So one of them started doing it, started doing it, then we, the whole class was just spitting chip, the small pieces of chip, yeah. isn't it? And the chip got mad, took him to the office. Five minutes later, he comes back to the class. He says the office is calling him out of bra. Yeah. They, now both of them go together to the office. Five minutes later, both of them come back and say, no, oh, she's calling the next, bro. Three of them go, eh? Yeah. Bro, I think it went on for a while till there were seven of us in the office. The eighth time they came back, they said they're calling me, eh? Mm. So I already knew this one, they're fucking around. I go to the office, eh? This all says, all of them would say, it's you. Who is it really you? So I said, Nate, someone else. Can I go call them? <laughs> so I said, no, you wait. Hey, yeah, they want to suspend us. My bride is apologizing. He's apologizing. You're not a principal. Tell us. Oh. Keep your apology. I hope you'll get bumped by your pass. Yo, yo. <laughs> What are we starting? <laughs> He tell us, go back to the class and clean the floor. And it was all small. He said, you to pick up. But at least I'll never get suspended. I mean, yeah, bro. You should get in too much trouble in school, bro. Yeah. A lot, you know. So how many times you got suspended? In school? Yeah, just that time. I got suspended one, twice. <laughs> I got suspended twice. One was in my first year of school, and one was in my last year of school. Or oh, the last year was because of the yeah. excursion. Eh? Yeah. But I mean, it was a fun excursion. <laughs> But for the excursion, did like, they just suspend everyone? Or was it like only the people they caught? No, there was, there was one who they identified. The suspects. It's basically Yo, yeah. But I mean, it's, it was just our luck, you know? Because mm. apparently, like, all the years, like, everyone... Yeah, yeah. Go when I just to do whatever they wanted to do or something like that. After that, they put us. They can't <laughs> the overnight for now. Yeah. So we were, like, the last. Like, Even in my school, you know that. But you know, yours yeah, happened we, uh, after I was... Yeah, so, like, yeah, after, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. after that happened, then I think I was, like, in grade 10 or 11. Yeah. And then we were going to go next year. And yeah. stop doing it. But I heard they got caught like bad, bro. They yeah, was like but, on camera. But they were stupid, like they were doing stupid stuff. Yeah, I heard it all stupid. Like your one was a bit funny and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The elements one was just dumb. It was a little bit dumb. I just like it to like go out for like overnight with like the whole grade. Yeah, like, you know? yeah, yeah. Like because we got to know like Owen's out of school. Because it's not like often where we would all like meet up in Blom with Like the other ones from like the yeah, other classes, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So mostly your friend group. Yeah, yeah, together, yeah. So when we when we went for like overnight, it was a hell of a chill because we like got to see Owens out of school, right? Like we everyone got to like vibe like the different groups. Yeah, yeah. It was a hell of a better. Hey, what was your? You go. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Yeah. Bro, and then I think I was in grade 11. So anyway, I went to school. I was early that day, right? So it was two of my bras there, right? So one out here goes pops, right? And other out for some reason, I have no idea, he had legs at all, but the natural legs at all. <laughs> the first. So anyway, the guy with the ghost pops, he fired out of the class. Yeah. So I asked the other old leg, because I was curious to know what this thing was like, legs at the first. Yeah. So I'm like, what's well, fine on you? He said, no, nah. he brought the legs at all. Because Dad wanted to cheer me the ghost pops with the laxatives inside. 
So I said, nah, you know what? I'm going to put Alexa Tov inside the ghost box and I'm going to give the ghost box back to him. So anyway, we open the pack with everything. Hey, we're taking one by one the ghost box. We're planting the Alexa Tov pots in it. Hey, so I act like I'm chowing it. The soul comes back into the class. He's not now. He's like, why are you eating my ghost pops? Whatever. I say, nah, sorry, whatever. He takes the ghost pops. The soul just starts chowing the ghost pops. Nah. Yeah. He doesn't realize the pots are in there. Yeah. He chows it all back at class. Hey, so we're blooming, blooming. Maybe after like 15 minutes, the soul's running to the toilet. He's running to the toilet. So I ask him, bro, like, what's fine when your stomach is not... I don't know what's happening, my stomach's burning, I'm shitting. I don't know what it will be alright, just drinking water. Then he started flying out of control, right? So then I could hear from my class in uh, the passage, there was like commotion happening where I was, oh. Yeah. So I wanted to go check what's flying on. Hey, so I visit the teacher and I need to go to the bathroom. Hey, I'm walking through the corridor. I see gang teachers are surrounding him, that's how he's on the floor, he's holding his stomach, he's Yo. crying. The teacher is still telling him, Rijo Kalima, Rijo Kalima, I'm laughing. <laughs> hey, I go to the toilet, I come out, they call me to the office, man. It was maybe like 20 minutes later. Now, you know when you go to like the police station and they have like the evidence on the <laughs> wall, man. So I walk in the office, I see this ghost pop, he's stapled to the wall. <laughs> Hey, so I sat down, so the teacher tells me, plus he's standing there, and he's, now this teacher, he always wears shirts and pants, but technically he looks like a, a police officer. Yeah. Hey, so he tells me, say, uh, what's going on here? So he points at the ghost pops. I tell him, like, what, the ghost pops? He say, yeah, you know the whole story of this ghost pops, what's going on? I tell him, nah, I don't know nothing about this ghost pops, I don't know why this ghost pops is here on the board. Hey, he's telling me, he say, you must stop lying, whatever, when the police come, it's not going to be funny. So I started laughing, like, because I never take it seriously. Mm. Hey, anyway, he was one out of the inner class, told him that I put the legs of puts in the ghost pops. Yeah. And then I was out, he's fucked. He's shutting himself, he's crying, he can't move. Hey, so anyway, afterwards, they call us all back. The check is still not hundreds. Then it changed me a suspension letter, bro. Yeah. Wait, so what grade was this in? Grade 11. But those pots, are they like red or something? No, yeah, it's green pots. It's like... Like you... What does it look like? It looks like elaches, bro. But like, how did he not notice it while he was eating? Because you know, you push, push, push it in the ghost box. Oh, 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 so he probably yo. just picked it yeah, and yeah, like, he was he chow, 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 right, chow, like maybe four or five. Yo. And that thing... If you like, if someone is constipated, you give him like you two. crush it and you like, put love yeah. in the water or something. That's how each out all four, bra. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. That's bro. mad. It was, but it was funny, bra. He survived. <laughs> but you know when it happened, man? Eh? The story is spread fast in the school, bra. Because I remember when it like as soon <laughs> as it happened, it's like one of the ones came into the class. I think they, were in a, they also went to the bathroom or something. He came here and said, hey, bro, someone put a leg set up in us. <laughs> or something. And then, just like the story kept spreading. Bro. Then, bro, I never expected it to happen. I was going, I was expecting a normal day at school. It just so happened, I found out also wanted to chain me the leg set up. Then I said, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to him. Because that would have been you on the floor, crying. Yeah, and bro. Things. That would have been fucked up. Plus, my stomach is sensitive, bro. What's your? <laughs> I just realized now, I only got suspended once in school. So, because I was in a school where boys and girls were separated. Yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, they never used to allow intermingling and things, right? So, anyways, I used to go to school really early because my transport would pick me up really early. Yeah. So when I would go to school, there was like no one there. <laughs> so you went to the girl's section. Now, there was also <laughs> another girl that yeah. also used to come back, uh, come to school early. Yeah. So anyways, I was busy with this girl and things. Now normally, there's a time where the teachers start coming. I can't remember the exact time, I think maybe around 10 past 7 and things. Yeah, yeah. Now I used to get to school at like 6.50. So, like you know, obviously I saw the time, I was like, oh, we still got time, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. So now we used to meet at like... 
the center of the place. So like there was a straight path where like the teachers would come in like the main entrance. Yeah. And then the right side was the primary section and the left side was the boys section. Yeah. Now the girl side was only was also in the front. So um, on the boys section there was a a boardroom. But wait, tell me, when you enter your school, right? Yeah. Do you have to walk past the girls' section to get to your section? Yeah, so the thing is like, oh. when you enter, the so girls are no, on top. There's no entrance separately for boys? You no, know, there's only one. Well, well, there is a separate entrance for boys, but you usually have to go like on the right and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. But um, this was during winter time and it was cold. Yeah. So because I go there so early, like there's no teachers there, so I would just walk in the main entrance. Yeah, so anyways, on the boys' section, there's a boardroom for teachers there. So some teachers come to the boys' section um, to ob- obviously put their bags yeah, and stuff nice. like that. So anyways, I was with this girl <laughs> and we were like in the center section upstairs. Yeah. Hey, we busy kissing, kissing. <laughs> 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 and after that, I think I was old enough, but I just stopped kissing her. And then the one teacher came and then she said, hey, what you guys are doing here? I'm like, nothing, we're just talking. <laughs> He's like, no, I got you kissing and stuff like that. I'm like, no, we weren't kissing, we were just talking. She wanted to tell me something in my ear. What the fuck, bro? It was in a moment, so I was just yeah. making shit up. And she's like, no, no, you too. I'm taking you to the office or so getting suspended, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, relax, we weren't doing anything, just calm down. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, no, I got you. <laughs> so then after that, I said, just relax, okay, we won't do nothing. Yeah. And she's like, no, I'm coming just now to fetch both of you. I'm taking you to the office. So anyways, I went to the class. I'm like, fuck now. I, I don't want to get in trouble and stuff yeah. like that. So anyways, I went to the class. Um, maybe first period, second period. They announced, yeah, yeah, so please come <laughs> to the office. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. Yeah. Anyways, I go to the office. Then I'm sitting there. And then the principal was there. And the teacher was there. And the girl was there. Yeah. So the principal asked us, what were you all doing? So I said, no, we were just talking. The teacher said, no, they're lying. They were busy <laughs> kissing. I called them. I'm like, we weren't kissing. We were just yeah. literally talking. And she was like, no, I, I forgot the principal's name. And she was like, no, they were kissing, blah, blah. I saw them, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, okay. And she told the teacher to go out of the office. Mm. Then after that, the, the, the teacher went out. And then she told, I think she told me to step out. I must wait outside the office. You're going to call me in. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm waiting outside, waiting outside. Then I saw this girl walk out also, and she had a thing in her hand, but I never know what it was. And then she looked a bit like, like, like stressed. Yeah. So anyways, I'm like, oh shit, now what's happening? Then I call me into the office, I go into the office. They're like, uh, you're getting suspended. And I'm like, what, why? <laughs> They're like, because you got caught in the minion, yeah. that's not allowed in the school. I'm like, I wasn't in the minion, I was just talking to her, like I never do anything wrong. And she's like, sorry, but that's just the rules here. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> what was so funny was like, she's like, um, so you are suspended for three days, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, what, do you have anything to say? <laughs> so then I put my head down and I'm like, you know, it's so sad that people take the words of teachers more than students. And at the end of the day, what's true doesn't matter anymore. You said it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. This time I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and after she says, yeah, but I mean, you know, it's a teacher, like, why would they lie? Yeah. So I'm like, hey, you know, today, you never know. So anyway, she's like, go get your bag and stuff and come wait here. Yo. <laughs> then anyways, go get my bag and everything. Now, they told my friends already what happened. Yeah, yeah. So when I came, got my bag, they were like, hey, what happened? So I was like, got suspended. Then um, the teacher even asked me, like, hey, yeah, yeah, what happened? So I said, no, nothing, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I walked out of the class with my bag. Then after that, I'm waiting there for my father to fetch me. And he fetched me and everything. Then in the car, we're going home. Yeah? So he's like, tell me something. Did you really kiss the girl? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he was like, um, what did he say? Oh yeah, he told me. But why did you do it when you know this teacher's going to come? Mm. I'm like, usually they come later. But this time the one teacher came earlier. Like, it's not my fault. I didn't expect it. Yeah. And he was like, so now what are you going to do for three days? I'm like, I don't know. Just wait at home until I go back to school. Yeah. And he was like, okay. Then <laughs> the funniest part is after that, the next day, me and that same girl meet up somewhere else. The next day? The next day. And then yeah. it was funny because I was sitting there and I was like, it's so crazy how we both got suspended and now we're sitting here. <laughs> the two suspended people are now so sitting here. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy, bro. 
Já se si právě nejsou jen, ale skvůl byl kvůli se spíne na whole week právě. Yeah, it, it wasn't all week, I remember, because like I still went to school that same, same week. Oh, my man, you was deep in the smooching, you didn't even see the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the only time I got suspended. Do you have any more in here? Ibrahim, King stories, <laughs> but I leave it at that time. I think I'm, I also say like, I have one too, but it's about two more, two like, you know. Oh wait, I got one! Yo, come on, we should say in grade 8, ne? So we, Another one in grade 8? Bro, grade 8, I was in the worst, I was in the peak of naughty, ne? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna say this though, but... Because I broke the intercom in grade 8. So in grade 8, ne? My one brother used to always bring like cards, and we used to play cards in class when we were in a free period or something, ne? So uh, we all learned how to throw cards. Like, so, you know how you keep the card in between your fingers? Oh yeah, like, like a ninja like, thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we learned how to do that, so we used to only throw the cards everywhere, ne? Eh? So then the one day I threw a card in it landed on top of the intercom. So as soon as you enter by the door, the intercom is like right on top, ne? Yeah. So like one or two cards landed there, so now I said, hey, you know what? Let me get it down. So every time when the card would go on top there or on top of the cupboard, we would take a chair, stay yeah, on the chair yeah. and get it. So I told her, oh, leave your chair, I'm gonna jump. So I was like planning to like jump, touch it and like bring it. But instead, I jumped and I grabbed onto the table, <laughs> and the thing came off the wall, man. So I, f- I like literally fell, yeah. and then this thing came off, but it was hanging by the wires, man. Now the whole class checked, hey, fuck, this whole intercom is out. So everyone was like, oh, like you know when something happens in the class, you're like, oh. yeah. then everyone's quiet, man. Now we're checking, yo, what can we do now? Because if a teacher walks in, they're going to see the intercom hanging, mm. and they're going to see like, hey, what happened? So my one bra said, cut the wires. <laughs> so we cut the wires. Now there's no intercom, right? Now we don't know what to do because we were all in such a panic. We cut the wire and now we're standing with the intercom in our ear and don't know what to do. So my bra said, throw it behind the cupboard, ne? So basically how it was, was as soon as you open the door, so like you open the door, opens this way, and it's like an open door cupboard. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it has shelves, but there's no cupboard doors. So now we're waiting for the teacher, but you can see from the other side of the class, you can see there's an intercom there. Ne? Mm. And my other bride says, let's go throw it behind the tuck shop. <laughs> <laughs> so we took it, we ran behind the tuck shop, we threw it behind the tuck shop. Ne? Then we came back to the class, but now all of us are panicking because it's our intercom. Mm. Like this morning they were reading on the intercom, mm. now there's no intercom. Now we're sitting and we're probably like, hey, you know what? Someone's gonna ask us because as soon as you look up by the door, there's like a square mark on the wall to show that the intercom was there. Now we're waiting, the teacher came, but no one, the teacher was a bit old, so I didn't expect it to see that far on the Which wall. Which teacher was it? Which subject? <laughs> oh, fuck, <man. laughs> so anyways, she didn't, this old teacher didn't see it, right? Yeah. But now we were still a bit paranoid. Like, I was getting paranoid because I fucking was going to offer so much and now I went to go break the intercom, right? So my one brother said, you know what? Let's get the intercom back. We put plastic behind it and we stick it back on. Then we were all like, yo, that is fucking, that is clever. Like, yeah. it will not work, but it will be there. I run behind the tuck shop. Now the tuck shop is like a, what's it? Uh, like a shack, it's not like, a shack. Yeah, you know those, co- those ship containers, yeah, the ship <laughs> containers. So it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm checking, yeah, I need to squeeze through this gap. So I squeezed through the gap, I grabbed the intercom, plus the intercom didn't fall straight down, it like got stuck because mm. the gap is so small. Mm. So it was me and my one bra, yeah, so he could keep 5-0 for me. And so the period ended the So which will go behind the dark shop? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the old teacher, she walked out, we ran to the dark shop. Yeah. I get stuck behind the dark shop. So I'm trying to pull the thing, but because I wasn't slim enough, I also got stuck, like coming out. Yeah. Yeah. That's Bryce pulling me, but he's, he can't get me out because I'm, my one hand is like on the intercom pulling it also, yeah? Yeah. but eventually we got it out, I just had to like push it back up and then it like came over, you know, then I came out of the top shop, I just had like shopman marks on my kurta, we go back to the class, yeah, then we boost with the plastic, bro. I think we use all the plastic from the cupboard, we stick it on, yeah. second break comes, so our second break was like salad time, you check. Mm. So we went for salah, we came back, we see, hey, this thing is looking solid. The period is starting, 
our technology teacher, he walk in. So that's bra. He always when he walks in, he stands by the door, and he waits for us to control and calm down. My luck, the intercom falls on the phone. He's hit. He looks at him. He's he's pressed. He starts asking what is all of us say. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know what he did or the He took it and he went in and he came back and everything was like normal. And we were like, like funny. Yeah, we were like, yo, bro. But you could see, I think it hurt him because like, all the lesson, he kept touching his head. <laughs> but he fell hard on him. And then he fell on the floor. The, all the plastic side was facing him. And we were all like, oh, fuck, he was it. But he didn't give a shit. But he just... Who was he bold? Yeah. Ooh. Who it must be bold, bro. No peering. You know who it was it, bro? It's not a team, bro. Yeah. Wait, so then, did you get suspended for that? No, no one knew it was me. Oh. Because okay. the whole class, when they were asking, hey, what did us? We all said, no, we don't know. Also, when it was happening, there was like no one in class. No, when I broke, when I was hanging from yeah, yeah. the the whole class was there. Also, everyone no was one. throwing cards, everyone was looking everywhere. It's only when we came back and put pressed it. Yeah. The class was still there, but when, when it fell and hit him on the head. Yeah. And he was asking like, who did us, who put plastic, who stuck it. Then the class stood up and was like, nah, we don't oh, know, okay, someone okay. else. Yeah, yeah. So like, I got saved. Oh. You I'm going to bring you a funny story <laughs> with that same teacher. Yeah. So I was in grade 9, right? So I was playing around with the uh, deodorant and a lighter, right? To like make a flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> and by mistake, the prime in front of me, his chair caught the flame. And the flame was going up. <laughs> what? So like I never think properly. I, I, I was gonna spray more, thinking it's gonna go down, but I'm not realizing the alcohol. It made it so worse. I sprayed more, and as teacher walks in, and the flame just goes <laughs> big like that. So the old starts swearing. He takes me out. So I waste the night. Like it's a mistake, whatever. That's just the whole story. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Nah, you put us whole class in danger. Why right to the office, brah?" And then goes to spin the game. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, so That's like, funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my grade 9 class was a wretched. Bro, mine was bad also, grade 9, bro. Yo. The teacher went through it, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get burnt alive. Yo, you went through it. Also, on head. But you know, my grade 9 class was bad, bro, because in grade 8, like each class had the naughty group of people there. Eh? So our one teacher said he's gonna put all the naughty O's in one class and mm. he's gonna sort us out. But his plan <laughs> backfired. Because when you put all of us in grade 9 together, like all are naughty one, bro, that class was bad, bro. Like it was so bad, yo. Yeah, that's great, man. High school, bro. Even once, yo, the one DJ smacked me back in my chair, bro. It was the worst. It was home time, ne? Yeah. And uh, I can't remember which period we had. I think it was a match period. But that teacher was like strict, 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 ne? And the bell went for home time. So I started packing up. Now the whole class knows that you can only pack up once. I always talk to yeah, yeah. you. I pack up, I hoi my bed. <laughs> when I stand up, the man is stop talking. He come to me. He say, where are you going? <laughs> I said, so it's home time. He smacked me. Yo, I did spun. I fell back in my chair. I opened my bag. I pulled out my book and pen. I was sitting like I never got up, bro. Yo. It was bad. But I used to do that a lot also. I get like up home time, the yeah. last period, I used to pack my bag. Sit there. Even I remember the ones, the ones, the, the one teacher was like, yeah, yeah, there's still five minutes left, take out your books. I'm like, it's going to ring now, now. Like, yeah. like, take out your books now or I'm not going to let you go home. Like, oh, fuck, fine. And took out the book, get it on right. I must tell you one day what even happened to me, I was in grade 10. So now I woke up with a cock headache in the morning, right? So I took two, two sign with tapes and I went to school. Right? Yo, you, you've been boosting on the sign with tapes. <laughs> now that time my, my tolerance was low, right? Yeah. So it came like maybe after break, one, two periods. So I had literature and doing Shakespeare. Bruh, I fall into a deep sleep, man. I'm dreaming, I'm with my cheek, fine, oh, that's that, man. Bruh, out of nowhere, man. I just feel a vibration on my head. I wake up, I check I'm in the class. The teacher's standing in front of me with five Shakespeare books. I'm wondering what's going on. I'm confused now because the dream feels so real because I was in a deep sleep. Yeah. He's a morning, what's going on? She's like, if, uh, if Shakespeare is too boring for you, get out. So she kicks me out. I walk out of the class. Maybe like five minutes went by. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on, where am I? Then I realized, oh shit, I'm in school and I fell asleep. 
Mm. Yeah, they were apologizing to her. She said, nah, nah, five from me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even my old school, we had this thing where if you come like early in the morning and stuff, then you play two aside, like two V2. Yeah, yeah. Nah? So uh, they used to actually close the entrance for the main uh, playground. Mm. So the way it was is there was one soccer palace just by the entrance of the school. Mm. So when you come and you just leave your bag on the side and you play. But whoever kicks the ball into the playground, mm. you have to violate around in the bushes and climb the fence. Yeah? So I used to hate kicking the ball over because then you must like go through the bushes and then jump the fence. Yeah? One day I kick the ball over and I'm checking there's only two minutes. For a bell to ring myself, if I get it or not. So I said, you know what, just leave the ball, we'll get it. Like break time or something. My brother, he said, no, go get it, we can knock this thing off. <laughs> I said, you know what, hey bro, for soccer you do anything, yeah, you know. Yeah. I said, you know what, come, give me a hand and throw me, like, you know, so I can put my foot on your hand and jump. Hey, I jump, I get a ball, I go it over there. Now coming back, because it's like steep this way down, mm-hmm. and the fence is like here, so you don't need a hand. You can just over. run. So. Yeah, so... It was a spike, it was spiked on the top, so you have to stand between the gaps and then jump, yeah. you know? So I stood behind the gap. Now, you know how the Alexa Cortez is? Hmm. We're on the side, there's a gap. There's a slit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So now, <laughs> I jump away, thinking like I'm going to lay normal. As I jump, my kurta gets stuck in the fence. I'm fucking hanging on the fence, man. Plus, the whole kurta I got a hole in the back. Yeah. And it slid, rubbed all the way to my other arm, man. Yeah. My luck, that day I'm wearing a bright orange top. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hanging from it. My bra is laughing at me. He's, he's not even helping me, bra. I'm hanging, always laughing. I'm saying, bra, the bell rang, fucking help me. So he grabbed me like by my legs and lifted me like that. Yeah. Yeah. As I'm walking, I'm checking my kurta, is like flying with the wind. I checked the whole thing was rough. Now I'm thinking, hey, fuck, I'm gonna set the whole day with the orange the top. Wait, wait, when, when did us, was it? During periods that was happening. When I kicked the ball over in the morning, you got stuck. Yeah, it was in the morning. Yeah, because I remember, I was hiding. But you saw him. I saw him. I saw him. But I couldn't go help him because I was smoking a quiet. It was teachers in between the distance between me and him. So I was standing there wondering what are these light is doing. I'm hanging for my life. No, you see me, you couldn't even help me, bro. I was smoking a quiet, bro. I was hanging, my guy. Oh, <laughs> <You can't laughs> I was hanging for like five months. I even got late to class. This was in grade yeah, nine. I, to my guy, I think grade nine or ten. This was, bro. I think no. ten it was, yeah. No. It was. Like okay, you never like your like your body get hooked on it, bro. Yeah. That would have been bad. But the way I estimated, like if I, I jump this much, I get over. Yeah. But I think cause my kurta was already over the the it's spike. Hooked, yeah. it already was hooked. it electric fence working? It. I mean, no, your fence. Those wires. No, it wasn't on that side. You know where that, uh, you talking where, you know where the tent is there, the dryer's there. I'm talking like when you pull up by the school, you have to go like from the pulling up part to the next plot and jump from there. So there was no electric wires, it was just the No, at that the time they never hear the wires on that side. Or maybe now they, they do, it afterwards. Know. But that time there wasn't, that's why I was just hanging. <laughs> no one fucking yelled me. I knew his kurta was gonna break, bro. I was like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I came home that day, yo, my tiny rolled me. Yeah. Day. Did you tell her what happened, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. She asked me, oh, why, why is your kurta killer? I didn't even notice that the, the hole in the back of my kurta yeah. was like bad, man. I thought it was just a slit. I said, no, like, when I got up in the mass time, I was sitting on my kurta, so I got up fast and it dropped. Then she tells me, in a hole in the back. I check, oh, there's a hole in the bed. I just said, I don't know. Wait, so what part of the day does happen? In the, early in the morning. So then like the yeah, teachers and things never started. ask you. Bro, they were asking me why am I wearing an orange top. Oh, so you took up your kurta all day. Yeah, because it, like the first four, it's four periods in break. Yeah? yeah. The first four periods, I blown with a kurta on. But the thing was, here, yeah, the kurta kept opening and showing yeah. my orange top. I was like, fuck, I can't blow like this, bro. Mm-hmm. So I just took the kurta off and I said, hey. So then what are you telling the teachers? I just told my kurta to <laughs> Then I said, how? Oh, I just said, I was playing soccer in a toe. I dropped and fell in a toe. In our school, I, they used to be full of shit, like with rules in it, bro. Right? Yeah, like even if something like that happened, eh, they don't believe shit. You yeah, think. Like yeah. one chick, man, I checked that she was walking with, without socks, right? Mm. So I asked her what happened. She said, hey, they confiscated my socks because it was pink. And it wasn't navy blue or black. I was like, do I go to find this one day? <laughs> so, you know, second break, we have salon here. Yeah. So, what Owens used to do with the toughies was they would 
put the puns on the side or they'll put like puns yeah, on the yeah, back yeah, so they know yeah, it's yeah. their toughest yeah, yeah. so my one bra he was a bit older than us because yeah? he like he started school late and stuff so he had fucking big feet like we were all size sevens eights around in yeah? it this was a 11 because he was like he was like big over yeah? mm. so like it's very hard to steal a shoe like yet yeah? <laughs> this bra he puts his shoes down we by you know us <laughs> We come out, always oh, looking for shoes. Someone stole his shoes, right? Yeah. He stole someone else's shoe, which was a size nine. Probably think couldn't fit his feet, but because someone stole his shoes, he had to steal someone else's shoe so he could have a shoe. Yeah. He stole someone else's shoe. He didn't fit. Does oh forced his feet in there. He put new pants on the side to show that this is his stuff. Is the next thing we come for Salah. Someone stole the shoes that he stole, and now he's sitting with no shoes. The original shoes that he had was gone. Yeah. He stole shoes. They had shoes. Like he couldn't steal another shoe, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know something similar like it happened to me, because we also usually have Salah second break, now. Yeah. But anyways, everyone reads Salah, whatever. Now it's time for everyone to go. So I remember where I put my shoes. Yeah. So I go there. I see my shoes are not there. I'm like, okay, maybe someone took it down, kicked yeah, it around, yeah. everything. I'm looking, looking. I'm not seeing my shoes. I'm like, what the fuck? Anyways, I'm like, now I have to wait for everyone to go to yeah. actually see like which shoes are left last or not. Okay, there's my shoes. Yeah, yeah. When is I'm waiting, waiting. Now all my bras and things are gone. So it's just me. Yeah. And I see this one pair of toughies looking fucked up. And I just got brand new toughies like maybe a week before. <laughs> They're looking fresh. I see this thing was like brown and like fucking torn and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Someone wore my shoes by mistake. <laughs> so anyways, I'm like. I can't do nothing now because everyone's going home. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, actually, we used to read Salah at the end of the day. Sorry, like yeah. so after Salah, we go get our bags, go home. Go home, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, shit. Now I have to wait till tomorrow. So, anyways, I took the toughies. Now I was first walking to the transport. Like, fuck. Now I'm wearing someone's fucking shoes. Fucked up. I got new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm walking to the transport. Got in the transport, whatever. Then I come back the next day. What us I can't remember. Yeah, I wore the same toughies. Because then hopefully if I found f- find the old at all my toughies yeah, I can yeah. say here's your ones. Yeah. So when is I come to school, then in the morning, uh, my one African friend told me, uh, "Who shoes you wearing?" <laughs> so I said, so I told him the whole story like I yeah. you know someone wore my shoes. He's like, I've seen these shoes somewhere. <laughs> like, what you mean you seen it? He's like, wait, I think I know who wears your shoes. So I'm like, what you mean? Yeah. He's like, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna come back to you just now. <laughs> Anyways, he goes. Maybe like 10 minutes, and I'm still waiting in class, talking to my other bras and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he comes to class. He's like, "Come here, I know who wears your shoes." Don't lie. So I'm like, "For real?" He's like, "Yeah, come, come." So anyways, he calls me. You move it, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was in grade nine or ten, mm. and it was in the trick. So um, yeah, so he calls me, uh, and then I think there was a period. It was just before the period started, yeah, just yeah. before the classes started. Then they called it. Oh, it, it was another African yeah. guy who took my shoes. Then they called him outside, and then that African, my, my African friend, asked me, "Is that your shoes?" So I'm like, "Yeah, that's my fucking shoes." <laughs> <laughs> and then he, and then they were like asking him like, "Why you took his shoes?" Yeah. And then he was like, "I didn't know it was his shoes." Blah blah blah. Then I seen, I, I think the teacher seen what was going on, like you know, like why they talking, why they not going to, into yeah, class yeah, and yeah. stuff. So then, anyways, the teacher. I was listening the story. I told him the story. Blah blah blah. The teacher pulled me to one side, and I was like, "Listen, yeah, you already got your shoes, and you really want to wear the shoes again." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, I don't want to wear those shoes again." So he's like, "Just leave it, and then go get new shoes. Don't worry. You can wear black tackies for the week or something. I'll tell all the other teachers if there's any problem. Yeah, just yeah, tell yeah. them to ask me." And then I was like, "Okay, fuck, whatever." So then I just left it. Me and I find it must have been. Because in my mind, I was like, I don't want to wear these shoes. Right, moving on to the next topic, lessons we have learned from our past relationships, or from our exes. Yeah, well, obviously, with past relationships, it's your exes. <laughs> or okay, no, no. <laughs> you can't learn lesson from hoes. Oh, facts. It is facts. What's a hoe gonna teach you? Facts. I mean, you can get a learned one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna teach you anything. Okay, but one of you can go first. I have to still think. What have I learned anything from? I think one of the most important things I've learned is to not sacrifice too much for females. Like for example, I'll give one example. 
it was someone's birthday party in my family. Yeah. And I was supposed to meet up with this chick. And then I met up with her, but then after that she had to like she had to go or something. I, I can't remember exactly what happened. But after that I was pissed because like that person was like close to me. It was like one of my nephews. Yeah. And I, I didn't go for the birthday party for a woman. After that I was like, that was so fucking stupid. Like why did I do that? Especially like for example, that would have been a memory. For, that would yeah. have lasted me yeah, for yeah. like the rest of my life. And I gave it up for pleasure. I guess you could <laughs> yes, say it. So <laughs> I like the way you say it. But I mean it's true also, like Yeah, and it happened a few times, like like not as bad, like I never yeah, did yeah, out yeah. important things, but like there were small things where like I would sacrifice spending time with family and like things I wanted to do. Because like the woman was like only available at this time because it happened with multiple yeah, yeah, females. Yeah. And it was just a dumb thing I would do. And now that I'm much more older, I realize that if I really want to do something, like let's reschedule, let's yeah. take, make another time. I'm not going to cancel that plan just to be with you for some time. Yeah, also, yeah. another thing was like, like it irritates me when like you have something planned out and then that person comes up with an excuse and now you're like, what the fuck? Like I cancel all these plans, made time for you, teach these people for you. And then, they teach and then you now you cancel it. Maybe it's not their fault. Yeah, Maybe yeah. like something comes up, but like it's a shit feeling and it's something I've learned and I don't think I'll ever do it again unless it's like my wife. Yeah, yeah. But like for chicks now, nah, fuck that. But you know, it's, it's, it's like a common thing where... Uh, you see like, a lot of your friends do it also. That's what I'm saying. It's like, like a common thing where yeah. you see... Um, like also we obviously with a girl and it'll be like, um, come meet me now or I only got free time now. And you'll see like they'll drop everything just to go spend a little bit of time with yeah. whoever. And you also see it like in your friend groups like... When you're blowing with your friends and chilling with your friends. Yeah. Then, like, down bad. Yeah, like, then the one guy, he'll yeah. be always, you know, hanging out with you guys and yeah. then he gets a girlfriend and now he comes like, now and then, or maybe he'll tell you he's yeah. coming and then all of a sudden he's not coming. And but you know what, what like, also happens then is like, uh, say one of the, one of the guys, you know, like a friend group will get a girl and stuff and he gets dust into the group, right? And then, if him and his girl don't work out... Then he falls back to the group and now he wants now to... Now he wants to like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It. yeah. That's, yo, that's bad, bro. Because like it happened... We used to have like few friends that used to be in the same situation. But like the thing is when you... When you... What a girl for so long... And you ditch the friend group... Like the friend group gets... How can I say? Like closer, you know what I'm saying? Over time, obviously. Yeah. Like, the more you hang around with people, the more closer yeah. you get to them. Now, obviously, the friends that teach you going around with the girl are not there to get closer with you as the group gets closer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when they come back, like it happened with us, like we had few friends that, like, obviously, the them and the girls never work out. Yeah. And when they tried to come back into the friend group, it was like awkward. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then they eventually fell out completely from the group. Yeah. And then you can also argue the fact, like, is that like a real friend? Cause like, yeah, it's true also. Obviously, like you were with him before he met before the girl, he met, yeah. and like you guys have been through shit together, spent time, had fun together, and now he got this chick, and now he's, he's like everything they you. say. He's like, yo, I must do what she says. Like, you know? yeah. Like I feel like it's stupid, bro. Like even when I had like in my past relationship, like it was always the same. Like we, if I wanna hang around with like the boys, I. Like, Go, bro, like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. I try to make everything seem exactly the same how it was before I was in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I want to be, like, in one of those relationships where it's like, nah, you can't bring with us, to, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this for this yeah. person, or they don't like your friend group, stop hanging around, like, nah, bro. Unless it's, like, obviously, like, you, if you have bad friends, yeah, then that's, it's a that's, that's understandable, yeah. but, like, for example, like, there's groups, like, oh, where people play ball together. And yeah. the guy's always coming for ball to play soccer or whatever. Then he gets married or gets a chick. And he no more pitches up. Yeah. Like, like it's dumb. But you all get married. I think that's like a whole different story. But I mean, like, even if you get married, 
in a whole mm. month at least one day yeah. out to play soccer or something with because you, you need that space yeah once a month is <laughs> yeah i think it's reasonable like like even my issue is with what guys that get married like yeah let's say they jump in they in hell of a good shape blah 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 yeah. then they get married then you see them after a few months and they're fat fuck <laughs> like what yeah. like bro like what's wrong with you it doesn't mean because you get married now you must slack you must I feel keep like on working hard yeah, you need to work harder when you yeah married. but i guess it's because people get comfortable Yeah. Yeah. Because like bef- like before people are in a relationship they get in fresh cuts all the time. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah but it's smart. also it's also gang sex makes you fat. Yeah, that's also true. That is true. It loads yeah. the testosterone. But that's, but, but that's exactly why you need to work even harder. Yeah. Because right? now you're fighting all of that. But this is the only smart sex. Oh, only you just tell your wife, let's <laughs> cut the sex, no more sex for the next 30 days. Get back into shape, man. Yeah, that's not realistic. Uh, people don't have double power. All that power is true. Man. I feel like people's all power is like, like weak, yeah, it's bro. Fried, it's bro. fried. It's fried. Yeah. Especially it's in today's time, it's fried, bro. It's like they give in too easily to any to, to desires. Yeah, yeah. Like, like temporary satisfaction. Yeah. Whatever chance they get, it's like they'll take it. Yeah. It's it. And I think that's why, it's like, like, it's like the new norm. Yeah. And I think that's why like it happens when like, a friend gets a girlfriend it's because like he's getting a satisfaction from the yeah. girl like I was checking a post the other day it was saying that today we live in a world that everyone's brain is so fried that difficulty is the new valuable yeah that's true that's true people can't do difficult things mm. everyone looks for an easy way out of things yeah and if you look yeah. at life right Everything that's valuable is linked to like hardship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a link between hardship and value, hard work and value. And people can't do hard work anymore, so how are they going to get valuable things? You don't want to, you don't want to take shortcuts in life, bro. Yeah. You very rarely see people actually putting in the work to get what they want. Yeah. Like you know, it even it even goes to the extent now. I was reading an article. So There's always saying that, uh, like, you know, when companies hire, like, all these new individuals, yeah. like, from the newer generations, he said that they can't handle work. Mm. That's how it is. But I guess that's because of social media, right? Yeah. Like, you, you look at the way these apps are designed. It's designed in a way to give you as much dopamine for doing nothing. Yeah. So people are literally addicted to... Well, their brains are addicted to getting dopamine for not working hard. But you hard. see, also what what I feel like they doing on social media, right? Is they don't. Everyone shows their success, and they're always posting like tips and tricks to get rich fast, or tips and tricks to get in that shape in twenty four hours, or that's enough. Like they don't show the actual period and hard work of how they got the success. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for example, you maybe took you three years of hard work, dedication to get where you are. Now you post a video, the 10 tips and tricks I used to get mm-hmm. so and so and so. I go watch it. I'm going to be like, yo, let me do those t- tricks. Maybe by the end of the month, I'll be in the same position. That's, it's like giving it fake um, like desire. Like You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, like, you can also blame the viewer. Not, not like as, as, a, as in the individual person, but yeah. like the viewers and in, in general, because if you post a video, let's say, for example, you successful, but majority of that success was literally sitting in your room on your laptop working. I imagine yeah. you recorded that. No one's going to click on that video. It's not going to get any true, views. Yeah. So the thing is, you upload those hardship, but no one sees it. But when you upload you in front of the cars or the nice watches, yeah. all of these things, and everyone wants to see it. Like, how do you work around that? Maybe... Like, you could obviously post the flashy things, get that attention from the people, and then teach yeah, them, yeah, this yeah, is what yeah. you actually have to do to get this. Get this you have to yeah. work three years in your room, sacrifice time with friends, family, in order to get this. So, like, I guess getting the attention of the viewer is more important, and then once you get the attention, you tell them the yeah, truth. The truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously, like, if, if yeah. you're the producer of the content and you're just showing the flashy things, Without like the truth behind the scenes, that's obviously your fault, and it's something you have to deal with. Back to the topic, right? Yeah, it went far. It went far. Very far. It went far.
What was the topic? What we learned? What we learned from past relationships. Yo, that was the topic. And look where we ended. Oh my days, bro. That's crazy. So yeah, we're talking about uh, Nate Belmar's bio. <laughs> 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 uh, no. So one of the lessons or a lesson that you learned. Yeah, you, you, it's you, you know, you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, my man. Oh my God, oh my stutter. I think my previous relationships taught me how to understand a female's needs, desires, and fantasies, and how to create emotional and physical fulfillment. That's what I learned from my previous relationship. That also reminds me, I also learned a lot about women in general. Mm. Like, in, if you look at like the first times when I was in relationships, like, I was like looking at it from a man's point of view. When was like, the first time you were in a relationship? <laughs> Well, what grade? How old, <laughs> how, old you? Were you? how old were you? My very, very first relationship, I was oh. in primary school. But it's normal. During Blackberry time. Yeah, it's, 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 normal. it's normal. Bro, I didn't even ever, you know what phone I had? A Nokia, my man. Yeah, but, the is, is, but the thing is, at that time I was a dumb child. Like, yeah, like I wasn't thinking yeah, it of was like. like uh, it, it was just like, I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> what do you used to call it? Puppy love. Puppy love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puppy love. But like my first relationship with, because I didn't even I broke up with that chick. After like two days, I was over it. So like, was <laughs> it really like? You know where we tried to speak over with my cherry back then? Mix it, bro. Please tell me you know what is mix. Yeah, it. I, I know what's mix it. I use oh it for like a short time, and then that's when Blackberry came up. Bro, you were talking was. about mix it. My first chick, Which I had to write a letter, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> That's rough, bro, but mix it was... Yo, so the thing is, when you were young, like after you see the chick... I had to attach chocolates to a letter that I wrote by myself, make a mission for it. But that's a, that's a normal thing. No, but like now people do like this in a romantic way. But, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, his yeah. only option. That was his only option, yeah, yeah bro. Had no choice. So the thing is, like, when you would go home, like you wouldn't hear the chick that you seen her again. That's how it was, bro. Yo, that's rough, bro. Huh? But it is actually that's rough. rough. But it was actually better, because you know why? Because like, we when don't you focus see, yeah. so much on yeah. where she is, what she's doing, what she's doing. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. Yeah. you're, you're writing letters like, every day, every day, every day. Every day. Every day like, every no, I'm just week. saying, just an example, you're writing a letter every day, and one day this it goes home and appears and say, hey, you know, going back to school, we're moving to another Yo, You don't even know. You also. don't know. Like, and, where she, where she? and now she's gone forever. And you're like, bro, my letter. <laughs> but you know, it, that happened. Like, there were some chicks in my class, like over a period of years, like different yeah. chicks. They would just disappear. disappear. No one knew like where they were, what happened. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy, bro. Imagine how, like, how you plan to go out. Yeah, so when you see the chick in school, you tell her... But like, what if it's holiday yeah. time? Or even what if you tell her, let's go out Saturday, then she confirms everything and then Saturday something comes yeah, up and she you don't know okay, But then again, then again, mix it came out like when I was in grade 6. So like in grade 5, right? It, it, for me, it was just in grade 5, we had to tell the chick... Yeah. Alright, this and here, this is what we're doing this weekend. You meet me here at this time, whatever. But what we're saying is, imagine you now, on a day, you, you end up going to a place. Yeah. Like imagine people that were elder than you, like in yeah. grade 10, before Mixit came out, and they're like, let's go out Saturday, so and something comes up. And I don't know how they used to do it. Yeah. Like, this must have been shit. This must have been shit. I never even thought of it. But you think that's why maybe. I so think people at that time went like uh, arranging marriages and stuff because they had no option of mm, actually yeah, communicating. Yeah, yeah. I feel like how they used to do it back then was like if they were dating, they used to use telephones. Bro, come on. You think this bride's gonna go home on his telephone, spin that ah, circle to get a number? That's, that's, that's probably how they used to do it. Do that, you get the house number, you phone yeah, the house, house number, the pills, no, right? Okay, what if they was it operating from grade six, seven, and they they keep it low undercover the parents want to You see, okay, back in those times, like for that generation, it was gang safe. Like you could fight, go for the chick by house, you know, by That's also true. Yeah, yeah that's also true. true. Mm. 
I feel like bro, like me loving through life with technology game. Yeah. I feel like those days where there was no fucking social media dating was better, bro. Yeah, bro. Way yeah, better, you, bro. you don't have to worry about your chick being a whore on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, nothing no like No DMs that, and shit like that. That must have been. It was a rough period. Yeah. So what was your destiny you've done? Oh yeah, I'll give you more some some more time to think. What you were saying on his last point, um, learning more about females also oh, talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good get for me because like you know in all my past relationships, man, it's like all the females had very different personalities from each other. Like if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but it can be a learning experience. Though. That's what you I'm know, saying. Like it, it was weird because you like have to adapt. To a certain person's personality. You know what I'm saying? Just to add on, you know what I also noticed, like, being in a generation where technology was. Mm. I noticed that social media made a lot of females' personalities similar. Like, before it... Each yeah, because they don't want to be, like, the next person. That's why. Yeah. That's interesting. Never talked about it. Huh? Hmm. Because, for example, you're watching... Um, or like these drama, romantic movies and, and you find like someone that. that you like on there. Yeah. Now you slowly cause you watch it every day or mm. come across clubs. Now you start acting it. You start yeah. acting it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like like if you see even today, there's still a lot of chicks, like obviously like my age and, sh- and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but yeah. they still desire that old way of romance and mm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. But it's normal, like even when I watch it, it was like when I watch KSI, like I also wanna be black. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I did not take that. <laughs> uh, yeah, what were you saying now? But like that they could have taught you like the multiple women. That's what I'm saying. They could have taught you which type of woman you like. And that's a weird thing because I didn't you, know but like the type of personality that I like. It was like weird because like from all the all the like females that I dated, yeah? like I only dated like four, but they all four had different personalities. Mm. But there was one of them that really stood out. It was like yo, it's like the personality that I didn't expect to like. To like, I actually like enjoyed that personality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel what like you mean? just have to, huh? What you mean? Like some, you see some changes. For example, how do I say this? Like. Like maybe some are more extroverted, some yeah, are more quiet. Yeah, 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 like maybe yeah. you like the extroverted. Like the extroverts and introverts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, along like the way they are, the, the person. Yeah. Yeah. Like the interest they yeah, like, all. But I feel like extroverts attract extroverts and introverts extroverts. But introverts. not necessarily. But, but the thing is sometimes... With the, like if you are extrovert, right? And you're plumbing with an introvert, you get bored, bruh. But sometimes... You will find where extrovert will actually enjoy the company yeah. of introvert. Because it's like maybe it's it's like the time where they can like be at yeah. peace and keep quiet. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> they may they always get that like settling. They want to settle down. You know? Yeah. 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 I feel like also most introverted chicks want the extroverted get married, guy. Also. Get married e- more easily than. Not that I'm saying extrovert, the chicks should become introverted. Yeah. It would just be weird. I feel like, I feel like when you're female and you're more introverted, it's kind of more feminine mm-hmm. in a way. But like, extroverted females are like really fun and nice as well. Bra- so like, it depends what you like. A chick has to be feminine, bro. Nobody likes masculine chicks, bro. Yeah, that's true. And if you're masculine yourself, it will never work out if she's in a school. Yeah. Things will be clear. Irritated. Yeah. Like you don't want to compete mm. with someone else. Like you just want to relax. Are you know some yeah, some yeah. boys actually smart like masculine and cherries, bro. Yeah, but you see the thing is it's a weird up, fetish. Yeah, they yeah, never end up marrying the masculine chick. Like Owens will fuck around with masculine chicks. But like brides. I I think always do like this always genuinely like being dominated. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, you get the ones like that. Means are always feminine, though. Yeah. Because a relationship yeah. can never work it's if there's too masculine or too feminine, yeah, too feminine. Possible. Like even when you look at like lesbian relationships, yeah. gay relationships, there's always one person that who's like more the manly yeah, yeah, person, yeah, yeah. and there's one who's like more the girly type. Yeah. 
you can't yes, have two of the same. Try to have the same, like if I oh like some masculine chick. But in those two, we've seen it all the time. Who was the masculine? <laughs> <laughs> because that was too wild for me to even figure out, bro. They were both in dresses. They were both. Yeah, that was wild. They were bro. both in dresses, bro. That was wild, and they both spoke the same, and they both looked the same. That was scary. That was scary, I'm gonna lie, bro. That was but scary. Maybe they were friends. Holding hands. They oh, were, I, I they didn't were see both. Them. What makes it even more scary is they were both over six foot, bro. Yeah. That yeah, that was bad. That was crazy. To see such fucking tall gate. In the one, he had a beard. That was the masculine one, probably. <laughs> But why did he speak so feminine compared to the other guy? Because the other guy still turned around to me and said, is this the line? And I was like, yo, that's a masculine voice. And I looked at the other guy, but he had a masculine figure. What the... Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. understand. He had a weird. beard, but he was wearing a dress. Like, what? And what? pink painted toes! Yeah, what the flop? I never even look at that, bra. Yeah, mm. bro. It was bad. But the thing is, maybe they were just fucking around together. Like... <laughs> Maybe the relationship never worked or won't work out. That's scary. Yeah. That's scary. It's scary. Because when you when you have two feminine people together or two masculine people, mm. it just becomes a friendship. Like there's no there's no romantic vibes in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think those ones are just friends, bro. Yeah, but maybe they were just fucking around. I don't no, even think also. about it. <laughs> yeah, they must have been each other's sneaky link or some shit. But yeah. But like, what 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 did you learn from that though? From like the different personality. Did it teach you how to adapt to different type of? Yeah, women? basically because, like I I don't know like most of the personalities that uh, like I enjoy is like you know that's like on my same vibe I mentioned it before like you mm. know it's loud and fucking energetic, but then. When I dated a person who had an opposite like personality, it was like more not like my type. Yeah. I don't know, it was like different bro. It was like more how do you say like it was more like how I was saying now introvert and extrovert. Mm. That's why I say like it just makes me think like if you can adapt to someone's personality, I feel like you can be very comfortable with anyone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But but what if what if that means you changing My your ways for someone else? But that's you know, what I'm saying because you're not being yourself. I, from all, I was still the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was just me with a different personality every time. So I, I wasn't the one changing, but the personality of the person changed. But I don't know about it. Cause think of it. But that's just my. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Cause like in in my opinion, every O like when I always work his brass. He's way he's showing different. one side of yeah, his personality. Way different. Like every O when you're with the chick, it's a whole different personality, yeah. bro. I saw this one video on Instagram. Like this, this girl was on the phone. Uh, no, her phone was down. So anyways, this guy was coming on her, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And she picks up the phone and he poses like a still picture. It was <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, I see the video. Yeah, I see the video. And then she puts yeah, the phone down and she starts tapping him. Yeah. She's just laughing like this. Because they all like to act soft, <laughs> like, you know, yeah, 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 like, how they see these videos, yeah. where, like, yeah, yeah. the ones, what do you say, they like to be, like, when they, in private, to all chicks, they like to be, like, babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see that one video also, where they always, like, cuddling his girlfriend, man. Yeah. And, uh, I think she was, like, sitting in a bit of a weird position, and he was like, no, baby, no. Baby. <laughs> then he looked, and he seen the camera, and he was like, no, baby, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck, bro. Those memes are funny. Yeah. Alright, moving on to the next topic is our confessions. So we're gonna react to some confessions that some people have said. So let me see. First confession that we have is what do men mean when they say they feel like we didn't have a connection? Then why did you lose your virginity to me? I feel you. <laughs> wait. Wait, repeat it. Wait, repeat it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> wait, repeat it. <laughs> she asked a question in. Wait, what? Yeah, so like, you know how she has asked question in Yeah, but, but in the last part, was the guy telling her that? No, she still said Oh, she's, she's yeah, asking. Yeah, so like, then why did you lose your virginity to me? There oh, no oh, okay, okay. So let me just repeat. What do men mean when they say they feel like we didn't have a connection? Then why did you lose your virginity to me? I feel used. Do you want to go first? 
Why did he lose his virginity to the chick? She's, yeah. she's like asking herself, like, like why, did you lose yourself, your, why did you lose your virginity? Like you used me. Used. Because he doesn't feel a connection. That's what he said. Bro, yeah, that's what I said. He told her. Like, why don't the guy say... He made an excuse saying we don't have a connection. Yeah. yeah. So basically, he, he just wanted a cherry to lose his virginity. Which is yeah. fucked up, bro. Oh. Yeah. Does it, that you see, this is what happens. You know, all these chicks that say, Oh, babe, don't worry, it's just my friend. It's just my friend. Mm. Then, they sleep with that guy thinking that guy is going to stay. Then they later realize that guy just wanted to eat and run. Mm. That's what happened. Or oh, it could be in a situation where maybe like the guy actually thought he liked her. And then he fucked her, got post not clarity. And he was, and he was like, like, nah. Man, I don't like this. This, this chick is better. <laughs> yeah. and, he and now this one has head over heels for him. Yeah. And, she, and then he's like, fuck, how do I get out of this? Yeah. And he's like, oh no, we don't have a connection. Connection, yeah. And fucking the That's fuck up, bro. And post not clarity, it's high. And that shit is true. That shit, yeah. that shit is mad. It can make you think like a 4 out of 10 is like an 8. 8 out of 10, eh? <laughs> and then when it hits, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? You all bro. But do you think, do you think... This is what most gents do though. Like just to get... Yeah, definitely, bro. Like what do you mean, to get what? Like to get a pump, a quick pump. Like he's... Because... He's, because they say they're versions. No, what I'm saying is like... Maybe that's all said... I'm a virgin in the meantime he's not a virgin just to make her feel like yo you know what I'm saying but, but, because there's always that do that but it's fucked up there's always that actually do that they're like you know maybe they'll go to a chair and be like nah my body count is zero I want you to take my virginity and she is like fuck give it, give it. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the meantime that's always fucking experience or a 10 body count you know what I'm saying but then she deserves for getting used by believing that yeah but, yeah. I guess so but you know I also think that like Every female is at a disadvantage because you can never tell, like physically, whether or is a yeah, or yeah. not. But with a chick, it's easy to tell. Yeah. Mm. But the thing is, like, okay, maybe that's from because I'm a guy, I yeah. can say this, but maybe chicks don't see this. But you can see when someone has experience. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Because they know what they're doing. But 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 then maybe like maybe the chick was also a virgin, yeah, and yeah. she doesn't know what experience looks like. Yeah. So this guy used yeah. her and she was like, what the fuck? Could yeah. be. Like, there's, there's many scenarios about it. Different ways. Okay, moving on to the next question. To all the men wondering what a stay-at-home wife does when you're at work, it's simple, really. We cook, we clean, In fact, the we name run one. some errands, oh, and we also cheat on you. Nah, on the house. fuck, man. Women are full of shit, my bro. That is fucked up. That's sad. That's like giving your wife literally <coughs> everything she wants, making her stay at home wife to chill so you can work so your you, ass off. You exactly you outside. Loving, fucking working. And in your working hours, she's bringing another man to In your work. house. In your house. Eating your in food. In your own bed. What the fuck? Smashing your. Nah. That, that's fucked up. God forbid that happens to me. Yeah, that's fucking you know, destroy you can't, me even, you can't even say that it's flipped up because a lot of Owens. Don't understand that you can give a chick anything, eh? but if you can't like keep her like sexually satisfied, yeah, in the long run, another thing. yeah, she's gonna look for it somewhere yeah. else. I mean, and the other thing is, a lot of Owens don't know how to do it. Yeah, because usually, like when a when a girl has an affair, especially your wife, it's because of sexual needs. It's bro. because mm. of that, like. Because like, I mean, she's a stay-at-home wife, she has everything, she's yeah. chilling, no stress, no nothing. So it's probably that, yeah. But, also, but still, for, for her to do that is like, fucking yeah, mad. Yeah. But you, like, how do you have a heart to know that I'm cheating on my husband, he's still gonna come home, give me money, give me everything I want, and he's gonna go work the next day and I'm gonna smash another dude. What? But, but in certain ah. situations, like, the desperation becomes like, Uncontrollable. Yeah, like your last overwhelms like, your logic. Yeah. Like, like a female will, will begin to think that, will not think, but she'll begin to feel like she's becoming depressed. And obviously she's, she knows she's not going to want to love the rest of her life depressed. So she's going to try to fix the situation. But you have to be one step in the head. 
So when you say you're going to work, you go to her house and fuck her mom. <laughs> so she thinks she's cheating on you, but you cheating on her with her mother. I don't know if I said this in a previous uh, podcast, but you can relate men and women to cats and dogs. So first you relate a male to a dog. A dog will always be loyal to you, no matter what. Even if you don't feed it, it will be there by your side, protect you. Yeah. Even if you die, the dog will just leave you there. But a cat, on the other hand, which you can link to a female, you feed it, yeah, it's friends with you now yeah, and yeah. then. And then you stop feeding it. <laughs> and it's like, hey, why are you not feeding yeah. me? And then if you really stop feeding it, it just goes and finds someone else that can feed it. You know, they say also when it comes to men and women there, yeah? a man when he cheats, he always does it when he's drunk or when he's not actually in his right mind to catch feelings for another f- female. So it's mostly like a hit and run or something. Whereas a female has to catch feelings yeah. and has to be in the right state of mind to mm. go out and cheat yeah, on you. Yeah. Because the woman needs an emotional attachment, uh, emotional attachment to that's sleep with yeah. another man. I feel like that's just the way like men, men are, are though. Like You yeah. can sleep with multiple chicks and not catch feelings and still come back, and to, still the love, yeah. come back to the woman you love like and still die for that woman even yeah, though yeah, you're yeah. sleeping with other women Maybe you can argue the yeah, fact that it's not right but that's just how we are because yeah. if you look at history like kings used to have like 30 40 mistresses but they have one queen yeah they would go to war for one queen but in the back they would fuck 30 other yeah. women even like like the one thing that's proven throughout history that a lot of females reject till today is that compared like everyone thinks that females love harder than Owens, mm. but the truth is that when a owl loves a chick, he really loves that yeah. chick. It's not like the same. Like a chick will love you, but then it's easy for her to catch feelings for someone else. But the owl. Yeah. Hmm. Next confession. Wait, this is not me before even tell confession. Okay, we did another one. I think my girlfriend's mom is giving me the fuck me eyes and I don't know what to do about it. (laughs) (laughs) Would you, would you smash your girlfriend's mother if she was more hotter than your girlfriend? Even though you've been with your girlfriend, say maybe a whole year or something. Is the mother divorced or? Say she's divorced, yeah. And now, you keep, and now you're coming over to the house and now she's like, the time is giving you like, yo, really, fuck me, like, you know. But now you're already smashing the daughter, would you still smash the mother? <laughs> I'm gonna get judged for this. Do you want to marry the chick? If I say yes, that means I won't go out and smash the mother. Yeah. But if, but I mean, if you're dating a cherry, don't you? Wanna date someone to marry them? Because if you're dating them to date, then what's the point of dating? Ne, like I asked, I asked the chick this question. They said that, well, obviously she has a thought. She said that the reason why chicks like to date gang owens is so they can find out, like so they can ex- explore each O and find out which is a type of O they like. But to me, that's fucked up because it desensitizes mm. your ability to connect with someone. Yeah. And it just degrades you as a person. Mm. Yeah, big time, bro. Because the thing is, like, we, people need to understand the fact that men and women are different. Yeah. Like, we work differently. Like, a guy needs to be with a lot of women. Not, not, like, at the same time, but he needs yeah. to have that experience to see what he actually likes. Yeah, yeah. But if a woman does that, her mind's probably fucked up. Like yeah. she can't be in like 20 relationships, 19 ex-boyfriends. He must know it just fucks her. <laughs> Along the way, yeah, it's gonna fuck up emotionally yeah, also. Yeah. Like, because I, she, she's gonna naturally have that hatred towards men and yeah, she's gonna yeah, expect yeah. bad shit to happen and stuff like that. Next confession we want. Dated this guy for a year, still never made me finish. Went to his friend, nothing there too. And what the, the fuck? <laughs> Yo, these women are demons these <laughs> days. Yes, bro. What right. the uh, fuck? Nah, if Boulder Owens couldn't finish. Nah, am I the problem? Yeah, she must am be the I problem. problem. Fuck, man. But I mean, if she's... <laughs> 
if she's pretty much ran through, isn't it? Well, I mean, if she's sleeping with two friends, she's probably slept with much more friends. That's what I'm saying. She's probably ran through. So she's trying to say, like, they not... Because think of it as well. Maybe right? she's damaged, like, that's physically. What that's what I'm trying to go with. <laughs> so she's, she's at a point where, like, maybe the next or the third or won't even make a finish because yeah. she's been what so many ones that she's damaged. But you, but you see, that's the interesting part. Like, because men and women are different, yeah. women need that emotional connection to actually finish. We are men, it can just be physical. Yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah, why yeah. when it comes to women, foreplay is so important. Yeah, like they enjoy yeah. that much more than the actual action. <laughs> like, like that means a lot yeah. more to them. Like that day will fucking drive them like crazy. So like, if you if you've been with a bunch of guys, they're not gonna take you seriously. Yeah, they're, they're gonna not gonna give you that foreplay that you want. They're just gonna fuck you and leave you. Yeah. So. And for them, it can be the best thirty so, seconds of their life. You yeah. know, just thinking like, why am I not finished? Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, like even like bro, when it comes to like foreplay, in it, they always has to like the chick. Exactly. Like you're not gonna foreplay with a hoe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like girls like it when you call them like cute words and shit like yeah. that. I'm not gonna call no oh, sweetheart and <laughs> all of those like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say shit like that? Huh? During foreplay. What? Cute words. Give me that boobies spooky. <laughs> no, no, but I mean like, are, are you going to go tell a whole like, baby, uh, you're the most yeah, beautiful girl think, in the world and shit like that? Because that's what I like. Yeah, but I don't think, uh, you, if you if you don't like that chick, I don't think you're going to do foreplay. Or exactly, play. and that's why she's not going to get what she wants. Because she's not going to get it foreplay, because she's a fucking thought. A thought, a thought, Yana. Next confession we have is... <laughs> I burnt his boxes because he ghosted me after six months while my dad is going through cancer treatment. <laughs> that is fucked up, bro. Okay, no, that always a fucking boss. How did he get all of his boxes? <laughs> he, I burnt his boxes because he ghosted me after six months while my dad is going cancer treatment but i guess if he ghosted or they haven't seen each other for like half a year and how does he even know that his boxes got yeah he probably doesn't give a shit yeah <laughs> went to go buy more but why does he have his boxes we all know why but like i mean maybe she found him comfy the fact that she the fact that she burnt his boxes means that she kept his boxes as something sentimental that's weird that's also true but then her father is going through cancer treatment. Maybe you never like her, but don't ghost the, the chick. Like, you know, like still be yeah. friends or end on a mutual agreement. But I, I not think, even that. Maybe like like that. still not even be friends, but be there for the person like in hard times. You know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah. that confession needs more context. Like, were they dating? Yeah. Was it just a one night stand? Yeah, that's also true. I mean, if he got the boxes there, she got a boxes, it must have been something. Fine one, yeah. But maybe they like vibe for like two weeks. Oh yeah, maybe. Like, you know, because like it's true. Because the thing is, if you vibe for two weeks. But it says after six months. It's a long time, bro. Oh, they were dating for six months. I bought these boxes because he ghosted me after six oh, months. Oh, I did. Oh, oh yeah. I thought he ghosted months. for six months. No, ghosted after six months. Oh. I still feel like in his more context, like how long was she ghosted for? Yeah, because maybe he goes her for like a three days going through some shit, and now yeah, it's emotional yeah, chick is like, chicks yeah, chicks yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe he's even going to mad to I hope if he ever decides to cheat on his girlfriend, that it's worth me. I love him so much. Yo, but that's common, you know that. Is this really what goes through? Repeat yeah, it's yeah, mine. That's, that's, that's yeah, common, fuck, yeah. bro. Repeat it again. I hope if he ever decides to cheat on his girlfriend. That it's worth me. I love him so much. I actually seen a confession mm. where this chick was saying that she was dating this guy and she doesn't know why, but all the time the guy's brother is there. Yeah. She like, she like finds it so amazing and things like that. And whenever they go out for functions and stuff, she always nags. I can't remember if it was her husband. I, yeah, it was her husband. Yeah. She always nags her husband. Like, please tell your brother to come work. When, where's your brother? Is he coming work? Yeah. And things like that. So imagine you're married to someone and 
all you can think about is the old the bravo. Old bravo. And the thing yes. is, she also said yeah. sometimes yeah. when I'm sitting, he'll come sit by me, and we have such good conversations and things. And yeah. I think he also likes me and stuff like that. That's fucked up. That's bro. insane. Fuck, bro. I feel like, like, well, I know that I feel, but real Owens have a rule, bro. That you don't fuck with your yeah. Owens, yeah. yeah. You don't fuck with your Owens exes. You don't yeah. do shit like that. You, you can be like fucking close as shit. Like you'll take a bullet yeah. for each other. But two things you don't share is woman and underwear. Yeah. You can share everything else. Share houses, cars. You see, there is many Owens, ne? they don't believe in like bro code. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, that is. Yes, because most Owens are fucking yeah, sucks, fucking bro. bitches, yeah. yeah. And, you, des- and you deserve to get cups. fucked up if you do get fucked up. Especially like if it's like sometimes you hear sad stories where like these two guys grow up from childhood and yeah, things, I mean, and the one old snake, the other old also, steal his chick. It's also like the the nothing about it. It's a little weird to say, but the nothing about it is you get to see who's a real bra and who's a fake bra. Yeah, it, yeah. it's unfortunate you have to go through such circumstances. Yeah, but I feel like the more you go through, the more you mature as a man also. Yeah, but that's why it's yeah. important to be able to read people and shit. Like it's a skill. To learn to read people, there's people. But you see, not, not everyone can do that. You can train yourself like, too. You read books and stuff. What I feel is like, the ones that are naturally born with it, they can learn it faster compared to someone who has yeah. no idea how to read someone. I think I low-key have a sixth sense when it comes to reading people. But it's because so, you trained yourself for it. No, like from a young age. Yeah, I feel like it's in But like some of the stuff you can me. notice. I've never had anyone snake me. But I also have a But I could tell. Like, it's. If it, oh, but maybe. Wait, hold on a minute. Wait now, wait. You got me thinking here. When you tell. Like, if you can tell someone is a good person or not, you tell it through the actions. I, I just the get the vibe. Like, I just get the vibe. Yeah, like. Like, oh, I, like, 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 like in my mind, like, I just don't want to yeah. be near you. Like, it's weird. Like, I won't. I won't want to make conversation with you, nothing. No, but I think it's a normal thing. No, some people are fucking yeah. gullible. But you yeah. can, no, I'm saying like you can tell from a person's vibe if they're a good person or not. Nee, you can't. Because you get some Owens with a low energy vibe. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You can tell if someone got a low energy or... Yeah, but what you're saying is how do you know if if uh, a person is like not to be around what? But you can like tell if you hang around with him for maybe once. Yeah, like sometimes the old it is low energy. If you are now and he's a now, you can uplift his energy and vice versa. But then it's also Owens with high and low energy. It can either be like a push. Yeah, like even to put into context, I can't remember exactly who it was, but like I met this new person. I think it was a guy, mm. um, friend group, blah, blah, blah. And like I never, I just didn't smack him. Like all my other bras were talking to him, yeah. making convo. I was just blowing. And then um, a few months later, I heard some story about him doing mm-hmm. shit to someone, like like sneaky shit and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So like shit like that has happened to me a lot. Yeah. Where like I don't speak to the person. I don't know why. Then, like I just yeah, don't want to speak. I can yeah, yeah. I can relate, bra. Like I have a group of bras, ne. There's this one out that belongs to them. Bra to me, that oh, is such a push. And it's because I saw shit that Red O done yeah. that they didn't see. That's why I know he's a puss and I don't ever speak to Red O. Mm. It's gang situations like that. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Most of you all do like this podcast. We do like it also. So please drop us more uh, topics to speak about. Literally anything. Whenever I put up a post on Instagram, drop any topics. You can drop how many you want. We will try and cover it as much as possible. Make sure you follow Yahya, follow Ari. You don't have to follow them on social media. You can follow them in the street. <laughs> Just do the most. You know, like we're on that grind. We're on that road to 1,200 subs. So yeah. No, don't, follow, don't follow me in the street. Follow me, you'll get fucked up. (laughs) Until next time, peace.